Hey guys, this is John from A Global, and uh, today we're going to be changing out a water filter, and this is on a Samsung side-by-side -side twin door refrigerator. So to locate the model number, all you have to do is open the right door, and then look towards the left-hand side on the sidewall. While the uh, door is open, if you look towards the bottom of the refrigerator, all the way on the right-hand side in the corner, you'll see that the that is where your filter is located. And here's the filters that I'm going to be replacing it. Uh, I actually use aftermarket filters and I haven't had a problem with them. So on this actual refrigerator, uh, don't be alarmed, there's actually a door alarm. If, you, if your door is open more than two minutes, it'll start ringing. Eventually that ringing noise, it'll go away when you shut the door. Another thing to uh, actually is good to know is this water filter when you remove it you don't actually have to shut off the water and basically you turn it counterclockwise and it slides right out. Don't be alarmed there's water that's actually coming out that's what's inside the filter. There's a spring inside there that stops the water from coming into the refrigerator and as you replace the new filter uh, I turn it slightly counterclockwise you, you can feel it's like on a spring and then I turn it clockwise as I push it in and that seals it up and uh, just wipe it down with a towel. So now that the old filter has just been replaced we're gonna have to flush out the new filter get all the air out of it and possibly any uh, small contaminants that may have uh, worked itself loose and this may take multiple times of, of filling and I use a glass of water so I can actually see if there's any particulates in there. Normally I don't see anything but uh, I keep uh, filling up a glass of water probably six to ten times and you, you can obviously it'll sputter a little bit if there's air in the line and once that air is all out of there you know it's pretty good and I'll do another glass or two and uh, that usually uh, cleans it up. So now that everything's flushed out, I'm going to go ahead and hold on the reset filter button. Just hold that down and it should clear out the uh, red alarm light. Well, as you can see, virtually anybody could change a water filter on a uh, Samsung refrigerator. One last thing I'd like to add is, you know, it might take an hour or two for the actual water inside the filter to cool down. So in the, in the course of the next hour, uh, you might have a little bit of warm water come out of the uh, spigot. And lastly, as simple as this may be, uh, uh, please support a fellow uh, YouTuber and uh, please click the like button if you like this. And uh, also, please click subscribe. Thanks. Mm -hmm.